She gon' have to do more than just She gon' have to do less for you So mommy, you know how All this more to do She gon' have to do more than just She gon' have to do less for you So mommy, you know how You gon' need to do more than just Welcome to Swedish Talk Where the Swedish hot topics have never been so frank Okay, so this week we have a real live hot topic in the news. Mm -hmm. Tess Asplund. <laughs> so this phenomenal woman, mm -hmm. she was in, she's from Stockholm, Sweden. Mm -hmm. She was in Borlong, um, Sweden this week, or this week, because there was a neo-Nazi protest. And, mm -hmm. you know, she went out in the streets and she put her fist up in a, in a, as a sign of resistance against these individuals and, you know, this mockery or I, I don't know what it was you know, that they were trying to do or trying to provoke. Mm -hmm. So, Josephine, yeah. you know, we're here to this and just give our comments and our, our thoughts on this. So, what do you think? Power to the people. She did the right thing. Yep. She really did. I think shouldn't the, the discussion be about freedom of speech? Yes. Mm. I actually agree. I mean, do we really want neo-Nazis protesting mm. in our streets where our kids can see that? Right. Like, I don't understand what's going on, you know, with this whole... I, I think that's a big loophole, you know, like, since mm. in Sweden you're allowed to protest as long as it's non-violent. But, like, mm -hmm. it's still, like, hateful views, yeah. that, you know, that people get to see. And it's, I don't think it's right. I think maybe the, the, the conversation should be um, regarding freedom of speech uh -huh. or um, uh, instigation of violence, right? Because uh -huh. that's, I think that's where, that's where the difference is. Yeah, but the problem is if you start uh, forbidding like, freedom of speech, you end up choosing whatever is right and wrong mm -hmm. for the people. So people should always be, a, be able to say what is on their mind, regardless if it's wrong or not. Yeah, I, I, I do agree. There's, there's, uh -huh. the, we, shouldn't, um, we shouldn't prohibit people from protest. Even like the, yeah. the the most stupidest view should be should still have a um should still have a way to, yes. to be expressed, right? I do agree. It's it's mm. just that uh, um it's just the instigation of violence that I'm not okay with. Yeah and that's where responsibility comes into mm. play. Mm -hmm. I think you know there's a reason why you know such a law was enacted and you know put on the books you know to promote freedom of speech and protest because at one point or at some point in history People, us as an individual or normal day-to-day uh, -day people, did not have that, you know, luxury. Yeah. So I think, you know, there is, there, there is, there is need. There's a reason why that's there. But I think, mm -hmm. you know, with freedom of speech and protest, it comes responsibility. Mm -hmm. And at the point where, you know, your freedom of speech or your freedom of expression is inciting violence on others, then that's the point. That's where I draw the line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think, you know, that was the same frustration, you know, that, you know, why Tess, you know, herself, why she came out in yeah. public and decided mm -hmm. to make such a bold statement, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, against the far right, because she felt, okay, you know, this cannot be happening here, yeah. you know, I can't allow this kind of reckless expression of your freedom of expression to take hold. Yeah. So she yeah. went out and she was like, no. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, isn't that also a big issue worldwide as well when it comes to um, racism? I mean, as, as much as I, you know, love the fact that we can speak freely and protest freely, the problem still remains, like, the next generation gets to see this. Mm -hmm. And the people that raise their kids that way with that kind of mentality, you know, the racism still continues to the next generation and the next generation. I mean, we've mm -hmm. it's been seeing history repeat itself mm -hmm. so much lately to the point that it seems like we just don't learn from it. Right, yeah, I mean... That that's true. And also my, my real concern is uh, this, um, uh, the appearance of all these neo-Nazi, uh, far-right um, uh, populist parties here, you know, here in Europe. And I think abroad people have this image that Sweden don't, doesn't really have that problem. But uh, those who have lived here, they, they know that it's, it's something that, uh, there's something boiling under, under the surface that we there's something really going on. Right? Yeah, yeah. But, but my question is then, how should you regulate that? Like, even if you say that it shouldn't be accessible, like, it, it shouldn't exist, but how should you regulate that? Because you can't put a law on it. Mm. Because yeah. the truth mm -hmm. will change by time, yeah. so we will still have 
the problem. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they, there's no way to regulate, you know, how mm -hmm. people exercise their freedom, you know, because, yeah. you know, you can't put a tab on everybody and, you know, be, be filtering or, or following everybody to, you know, to, to say that you can't say yeah. this or not, yeah. because that, is, that, that is, uh, infringes upon their freedom of expression. Yeah, exactly. But as I said before, it all comes down to, you know, to, 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 to responsibility and to do to be doing it responsibly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, 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 I would assume that the commune or the, muni or the municipality of um, Borlaug, mm -hmm. you know, is, mm -hmm. is that it? Yes. Yeah. They, were, they were made aware prior to this oh, that you know, a yeah. neo-Nazi yeah. party was going to be marching throughout the streets. I